going to talk about uh, a bit of a show and tell about the lecture recordings that I've been doing. And I pretty do pretty much do this now for all my lectures. For all my lectures, I, I make recordings of them and uh, make them available to the students. There's uh, more tiny URLs and other things. You can see this at lecture dash recordings, these slides. And you can find your way to this event now, lecture recordings live. So uh, here's just an image, just the kind of thing I'm trying to emulate. This is a well-known guy, Gilbert Schrein from MIT, and um, nice traditional teaching methods there. Um, and they produce wonderful videos up on the course here. Of course, uh, sorry, up there, up on the course where. Of course, these are pretty big productions. The camera pans around at the back of the room, it zooms in and out. And uh, there's a whole website supporting it. They distribute the videos themselves, or maybe on YouTube, I'm not sure. He's wearing a radio mic. So uh, this isn't within my scope at the moment, of course. Um, something a bit more rudimentary. And this is really the kind of thing I'm trying to emulate. Um, this is Mariam Mirzakhani. She won the Fields Medal uh, a couple of years ago, the first one to do so. Um, no volume. So, uh, There's the volume. Okay, so she's talking. Number two. So it's a bit more rudimentary. There's no camera panning. She is wearing a radio mic. And the camera does change from time to time, so there is some editing that's done. I'm not sure if it's, um, see that it's, she's working at a sideboard. I'm not sure if it's uh, the one camera that's moving around and there are different cameras. But she's wearing a radio mic, and this, yeah, there was a fade there, so there's some editing. So I don't want to spend my time doing all of that. So that, again, is uh, beyond my capabilities, beyond what I'm uh, willing to do. Um, I will just try and get one joke in. I know talk's only 10 minutes, but... Uh, she's not a great lecturer, do you? Well, she doesn't have to be because she's won the fields now. So. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a research talk. This is, this is not an undergraduate teaching. It's not usually interactive, you're right. Did you have to turn around from time to time? What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Um, I'll just get my one joke in. Um, an awful lot of mathematics and this is the kind of stuff she does. It's about investigating holes and stuff. And it's about pants as well. That's the word pants she's written there. These are pairs of pants. So she got the Fields Medal for studying how to glue together pairs of pants and make shapes with all them. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. If the general public ever found out what they're up to, what they're their money on, we'd be in a lot of trouble, I think. And of course, the Americans coined that. I mean, Americans don't understand the inherent comedy of the inherent so. Anyway, okay, that's the one joke. So these are outside, you know, as rudimentary as that is, it's outside of what I can do. Because it needs all of this you need camera, cameras, operators, wearable microphones, editing. Okay. And I want to do this three or four times a day, go home, see my family, and I want to do the same thing tomorrow. I don't want to invest. Any extra time, really? Well, minimal. I'm willing to click around a little bit on my laptop in the room. That's about. But that's the level of extra work I want to put into it. Okay. <laughs> but it is possible. I'm doing it right now with this session here, uh, and I kind of took inspiration from others. So this is a mathematician, William Stein, and he's a number theorist in America, and he's also involved in the Sage computer system, the Sage Math Cloud online environment, and um, just kind of well known in the math community, but maybe not. So I so encourage you to click through let's get that. And he's, he, so I, I was just following him on social media, and I suddenly saw that he was putting all his lectures up. He was recording more or less all of his teaching just on his laptop. And he does a fair amount. He's a, he's a number theorist, and he's developing software. So a lot of his teaching he does by demonstrating, uh, demonstrating the use of software in the class. Very and so. Teaches with his own software. Say, so he's demonstrating computer stuff, and this is really good for this because uh, the, 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 the recording captures what's going on the screen. And um, if you've got a good enough laptop with a good enough camera, you can also make a pretty good, you see him there at the laptop, a pretty workable recording of work at the board as well. Okay? Stand that out to full screen, you can do that now. And certainly the student working with their own notes as a, as a revision aid, if they've, if they've got the notes in this lecture, um, you know, by comparison with those and watching the lecture again, can be, can be quite, a, quite a useful useful thing. Okay? And that's all done using Google Hangouts, which is what I'm using right now. 
just working from his uh, laptop. So I've been able to make this work for me. This was me this morning uh, down in Jeffrey Mountain. So at the start of the lecture, I was working off my printed notes. So this was projected up into the screen. You can hear me narrating the notes. I was doing a bit of a recap on what we did last week. And then the rest of the lecture was quite practical. I like to get the students taking notes as well. So um, I was working at the board with the visualizer. Now, this my, my laptop is particularly cheap. The resolution is not great. Probably can't read that, certainly. But what is captured there is the narration. And as part of the workflow that I do, any of those pages that I produce, any of those visualizer pages I produce, um, just on the way back to my room, I scan them in on the uh, photocopiers, and it comes into my email. And so I can just put the link to those lecture pages uh, into the comments under the video. So I think replaying the lecture, hearing my narration, this is the sheet I'm in the process of completing the lecture. So the students can see the actual sheets, and they should have it in their own notes as well. So it provides a pretty good reliving of the lecture, replaying of the lecture. And of course, the advantage of using this um, is, of course, it cuts out all the other stuff. Okay? I don't need any of this extra people to do this or extra equipment. I'm just using my laptop. I would be using that anyway. It just takes a few clicks. The way the Google Hangouts on Air work, the, I, I don't have to upload it afterwards. Okay, it's it's right now it's it's streaming in some way. I don't understand up to up to the Google computers. It's viewable live online. So you, can, you could be sat at home watching with me now, or sorry, listening to this. Now uh, and at the end, when I just close down the laptop and I finish and I walk out the door, the recording is deposited there attached to the Google Plus profile or page, whoever initiated the recording. Okay. So it's really like more or less no extra work. So what I do is on Moodle, um, you get a little bit of HTML or the, a nice kind of badge for the Google page. You can have that in, on your Moodle, um, a badge for the Google Plus page. When you click to that, then it provides a nice chronological collection of all the lectures. So I've only done three, I've done four lectures now, not the first three minutes so far. Um, and then underneath each lecture, I will put links to, I will just drop quickly the link to the visualizer pages that I produce so the students can click that, get the pages and can see, see watch, the, watch the lecture again. And sometimes any computer worksheets or extra handouts and so on, I stick in quick comments there. Yeah. I'm just wondering, how do you merge the, the recorders? Because you've got the recorders of what's happening on screen. I and just got the camera as well. So the, the Google Hangout on air is running at the moment. So at the moment, I've got it set to share the laptop screen. So all the clicking through stuff there so you have is, to is recorded. And if I did want, OK, suppose I wanted to start working, I can just switch over to the webcam. And now it's recording that, so now that's forming part of the recording. It's very robust. It doesn't drop out at all. Um, it's just working over the Wi-Fi, of course. But it's, it seems very robust. If the odd time the picture drops out and the profile pic of the Google Plus page replaces it for a few seconds. But the audio, I've never heard the audio drop out. I've never had a trail on it. So it seems very robust. And, and you can do a, a bad shutdown of it. If I just shut the lid and walk away, the, the, the recording is still there. It's, it's, it's not lost or anything. Yeah. Right. Okay. Have you Hi. thought about doing a lecture in terms of... From home. Yeah. yeah. One of the things I thought was kind of great with Google Hangouts is the students can interact. Yeah, yeah. They can... Yeah. One of the reasons students don't interact with lectures is because you're there. Am I right? So if you could set all this up in a lecture theater and then you can see what you can see, you can turn the video cap on them to make sure they're there. I mean, you give the lecture when you're at home, and then they could write comments as you go along. Yeah. Yeah. We have a job in the whole time, didn't you, Pop? It's a lot of fun. Is Mike good enough to pick up student questions? Yeah, no, this, this, although it's a really cheap Laptop, the, 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 the microphone is really, really good. I, I've even wandered to the back of those big lecture theaters, and I'm 
pontificating as I go. Uh, and it, it picks me up and, and, and that's at the mic. And it picks up student questions the, the odd time as well, although they are fairly mumbled, but um, it's pretty good. Yeah. What's the student feedback in life? Student feedback, well, thank you. Um, mostly <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we should be using this technology. <laughs> Mostly like this, they, they respond that they liked it. From looking at the viewing figures, there's not a huge amount of use of it. So I, some students tell me they love it, and I spoke to some students, and they say, oh yeah, I, I watched them all again before the exam. But for certain students, I think they really make a lot of use of it. In general, they don't make a massive use of it. Um, nobody's complained about it. Certainly. Um, <laughs> and sometimes when I was doing it last year, I didn't have the camera. I was just doing it off the teaching desk, so there was no webcam, and they were so they 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 wanted to see all the working out and the visualizer, but it doesn't seem to be an easy way to actually get Google Hangouts to record. Google Hangouts, but then Yeah. So if if you want like live participants in in the Hangout, I think it allows you 10 people. So you can have 10, 10 webcams if you're in the Hangout. You can have 10 people participate. You don't need a Google account to view it. So if you can land on the Google page with all the lectures, you don't need an account to view it. Google audience is basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's um, an audience participation plan. Yeah. I mean, I don't use those features because I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm just aiming on recording what, what's happening in the room. Um, <coughs> But it obviously yeah, has other use cases, and maybe MSC students, like when students weren't here. But in computing, uh, you've got 200, 400 students. All you could do, if you had the reciprocal way, is you could have you went into smaller lecture rooms, and then you wouldn't have to be in a lecture room to see your audience. And on top of that, uh, you could turn the webcam on the room and you want the students to see who's actually there, and then they can all engage. I'm sort of not Are you angling to the library home? Tom, Tom's serving Jesus. Yeah. 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 Well, you actually, you're I, I think in, in some ways, it's the technology that we get kind of use. But um, I think that's the main take on that. that it, it, I'd be doing it all anyway. I'd have the laptop with me anyway. I'm clicking around on the laptop anyway. It's just a couple of extra clicks, and it does leave all the recordings there. And for some students, I think selected uh, use, but it, it does certainly benefit some students. There's also the question, I mean, attendance is an issue. And my, my first year lecture is happening at 9 o'clock on Wednesday, so the attendance is down. Maybe this does encourage not coming in. But if they, I, I don't advertise the fact, I, I don't say, oh, and you can watch this live from home. Um, but you know, a few of them will work out so that they could choose just to stay at home and just watch and listen to the lecture uh, live. But, um, but maybe. Uh, and you know, the question like, is it not unreasonable for a student to request this kind of thing since it is so easy? Maybe not. You know. That's why I don't understand that. Yeah, that's a good point. Have they been recording? I mean, it's been happening in my lecture, these are the project lectures, for example.